Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today is Art Derby Thursday and we're just painting florals in a purple tone. It's a purple haze day today, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with supplies. Art is 100% cotton, uh, cold water pressed paper, a 10 by 14 sheet. It's in this pad. I have my water up here, my paper towel here, my various brushes that I'll be using. I'm gonna be using many of these um, oval brushes today. This is like a filbert by Princeton, number eight. Um, this is a Princeton half inch select series oval mop. Um, this is a Princeton Neptune series half inch, it's more pointy oval. And some of my Grumbackers and my other Princeton brushes and whatnot. Um, I've mixed up, this is just purple dioxide. Um, oh, excuse me, up top here. Purple dioxide up here. All the brands carry purple dioxide. It's like the staple color. Um, I have some medium green. Now this is from Artist Loft. Mixed in with some light yellow from Artist Loft. And then the yellow here mixed in, and a little burnt umber and everybody carries a burnt umber. And this is ultramarine blue mixed with purple dioxide. Um, I'm doing this tutorial today in blues, I mean, excuse me, purples and blues. <coughs> It's the color theme of the day for me today. I also created a acrylic uh, demo painting that's on my acrylic channel. You can see it on my homepage. That is all purplish tones as well. Just feeling the purple. It's the purple haze today. Let's paint some purple haze. And we're just painting intuitively. We're not sketching anything. We're just going with the flow. And this is kind of how I paint a lot of my florals. Sometimes I look at um, inspiration sometimes I don't sometimes I just like to create whatever I feel like I'm gonna start with this filbert brush let's see and I'm just gonna get some of this water on it and get some of this green paint on it and I'm just gonna make strokes um, just randomly oh, so much water on there that's okay we can work with that see not everybody does perfect thing just making strokes and I'm thinking that that green is too Right, so add a little burnt umber to it. Use these strokes. And you can see you've got this right here. It didn't where the water didn't fill in. It has a dry brush stroke look to it. I'll zoom in so you can see. Why not? Now I'm feeling that these are kind of too skinny, so I'm gonna go and take my Princeton Select Oval Mop, as they call it. And actually, I'm actually not going to use that brush. I'm going to use this Robert Simmons Sapphire brush. Um, I believe I bought this at Dick Blick. I don't know where else you can get this, but I believe that's where I got it. It's either at Michael's or Dick Blick. That's where I get my supplies. So I'm going to use this one. This makes some great strokes. Grab a little hooker's green in here. Get this a little darker. A little burnt umber and some more water on my brush. And here we go. Downward stroke. And I crisscross it. And I can go in and add some more. Actually, add some indigo with some burnt umber. And it's getting darker strokes. So I'm just getting this movement. And it's dry brushed because it's not wet, which is fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I can go in, I'm going to grab my Princeton Velvet Touch number eight. And I might just use some indigo with some burnt umber. So it's more brown, a little uh, hookah's green. It's like a brownish green. And I'm just making some kind of like branches. And they're going to bleed into those strokes, which is fine. We're creating just intuitively. Now I will be putting some florals in here, but right now I'm just playing with movement and lines. And that's all you need to do at the moment. And I'll clean that brush off. And I'm going to go in and grab my Grumbacker number 10 brush, which I use a lot. Put some water on it. And then I'm going to start using 
the blue ultramarine with the dioxide color. I'm gonna get it fairly wet so it's light. And I always dab it on my paper towel first. And I'm just gonna put some paint up here. I'm just going in and just throwing in a flower looking shape. You see that? Darker, lighter. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just the whole point is to play just the actual action of painting and color and movement is therapy alone. This is going to be a quick one today, but you're just playing. You don't have to have any particular reason. And now, so I add, cleaned up my brush and I'm just pushing water next to those areas. So I'm blending it out. So it's fading outward. See that? It has this urethral look to it. Pushing the water next to the dark. I'm gonna lead out. Just keep doing that. I'm just grabbing some water over here. I'm gonna grab my ultramarine. Throw some of that down in here. Making this blue tone. Just dabbing some down here. And that branch I put down here. Almost looks like a hydrangea or whatnot. Again, you can push the water. Next to it, and it's just this. The clanking, I'm sorry, is my jar. So I'm just pushing that water all around next to it. Now I've got some water up here on my paper, and I'll just take a paper towel and I'll just remove it. So as we're playing with this, you'll see how the composition's looking. We might go in and grab some. Green, actually, there's been so much of this one particular color green, so we're going to grab this lighter limeish green. Still using this brush, just making strokes going across. And here we can use the mop brush for nice petals. Now it needs to be wet. Just make these little Lobby type petals with this brush. Grab some more yellow and some of this green. It's more like an impressionistic style where you are not really creating. So I might want to go and grab my Neptune half inch oval now. So we're going to use this lime color. I'll put some more yellow in here. Some more of this green with it. Burnt umber. So you can use this sideways, push down, and get a real petal. And then excuse me, leaf. We got this craziness of crisscrossing. Movement, color. That's indigo. I just grabbed in my brush. I'm gonna play with 
some dark tones. I'm just making this simple leaves at the edge of this brush. Again, I've mixed some indigo with some burnt umber. Just playing around with movement, <coughs> excuse me, the color. You can actually use indigo itself. And you get this wild kind of painting. Again, I'm gonna go wrap in, go back in and grab my find my grind back of brush. And grab this color that we mixed earlier. I'm gonna make different type of flower, kind of kind of like a chrysanthemum. Just these little funky lines going outward. You can grab some indigo and dab it in the middle. Get it darker on the edge. Again, just playing with this color. Making this fun flower down here. And we want to get more serious. We can grab some of the in hooker's green, some front umber, throw in some purple. We'll make them real serious type of flower, like a bluebell. Make the leaves. So yeah, we're mixing these odd looking flowers with realistic flowers. I'm just printing in a downward motion. See that? Can add some more like that. And get some blue stuff going over here. Might want to put some more blue up in this area. Again, this feels like it's floating, so we're going to attach it with a stem. A stem. And then some leaves.
like an abstract floral composition. darker tones to balance out all that green. You can throw in some turquoise. Maybe that's not the right choice, so I'll just wrap that up. I'll move it around, which I did. And have fun with it. Doesn't have to be serious. I just like playing around with shapes and sizes and branch looking things like this. So I'll put one up here. And I'll add, I've got this cobalt. And I'll add it with some dioxide. Palish purple blue. I'll put some of that up here. Go back into these flowers and add in some deeper tones. So it's getting there, it's filling in the blues, the purples, the greens. I'm gonna add this medium green and yellow. marks. Just want to have fun with this. It's an abstract floral. It's not serious. Keep playing around with adding different greens and different tones, different shape leaves. See I'm just going and adding these leaves here. Add a few more down here. Just want you to have fun and not think about too much. I had a hard day. If life is getting you down. It's just fun to come in and grab some paint and some paper and a brush. That's all this is. Paint, paper, and a brush. And you can create your own magical little world. Now if I grab some rose, I can mix that with some purple dioxide and get like a pinkish purple. Magenta. We'll change up purple tones. You can make like a rose. Well, you don't have much room in here for a rose, but somewhat like a rose out here. Over here. So you're just filling in this. Magenta type color. And just keep playing, adding.
always like having these little branches. It's so much fun. And it looks like I need some more blue in here to balance. So we'll put some blue ones. You can put blueberries, whatever works for you. This is kind of crazy and fun. But there's, there's love in this chaos. Just want to have fun. Abstract is supposed to be something that's coherent to your intuitiveness, like your how you're feeling, how you're expressing your day. Can I yellow in the middle of that? I don't like it. Make it black. Make it like an anemone. I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna let it dry and change it up. But I just want you in this tutorial just to have fun. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it would be impossible to copy this because my crazy hand and my craziness. But I'm just giving you ideas. When you're in a slump, this is what you do. You just sit down with the paper and your brush and you put down strokes. You just throw in flowers all over the place, here and there. It doesn't have to be this monumental design. This is a little more concentrated watercolor going in. You can throw in some black. Really just to pull out elements more. Just really pops it. You know, sometimes it's good to stand up. So I'm gonna stand up, see how it looks. It looks a little chaotic, but cool. And I usually do like to paint standing up sometimes. You're very constricted when you're sitting down. So when you stand up, not only can you see more clearly what you're painting, but you loosen up. Loosen up a lot more. That you normally wouldn't do if you were sitting down. I think that's good for today. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe. Come here on Art, Art Therapy Thursday just to hang out, just to paint, just to enjoy, just to relax. There's no set criteria. There's no right and wrong. But just enjoying you painting. And that's it. Have a great day.